morning so i think this is like the first time ever we're seeing the apartment from this perspective but it is sunday and i need a big apartment reset the apartment is a mess i am looking like a little bit of a mess um and it's been a bit i just got back into the office last week we were very lucky enough to have all of august working from home but now we need to go into the office and that's really messing up uh, my organization. I've also like bought things, not put them away. And also I need to get rid of things. I'm like really bad about like hoarding. Like I always just want everything and I'm really bad at throwing things out. So I'm really bad at throwing things out. I'm really good at hoarding actually. So I need to tackle the whole apartment. Uh, Chopin's toys are everywhere. Uh, I haven't vacuumed in a while, so that is what today is going to be, an apartment reset. Okay, I need to tackle this front area because I also have three boxes of shoes um, and I need to fit the shoes in here and yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to do that, <laughs> but I also need to clear out this top area. So we're gonna just do everything at once. I have a full size bed frame in here that I need to take out and stick into the inside. That will be the hard part here. I also have a bunch of these hooks that I bought on Amazon where you put it on the pole and then it locks it into place so it doesn't keep like moving. We bought a bunch of these S hooks, but these S hooks, they keep on tilting like with the weight and then it, it's more likely to fall off. So I've just been, I, I feel like these work really well. I also need to make a collection of all the things that I think I'm going to sell or something. Did I tell you guys? I sold my bike. That's why we, that's why I have all this space. Cause the bike was taking up a lot of space. This is my friend's small business. It's called Carrie Kismet. Um, and they make these really cute tote bags where they have like embroidery and it's like all handmade in Korea. I don't think they make this one anymore. I really, really wanted this for um, picnics and stuff, but it's so nice. Even if I go to Trader Joe's and I like buy a bunch of frozen food, it like stays cool and it's quite spacious. And they also, look, it even has side pockets. Like they put a lot of thought into all the designs um, and they have a lot of different types. I think I'm gonna sell this bag. Like I never use it. The laundry's going if you can't hear very well, but I think I'm gonna sell this coach backpack. Um, it was a sample from back in the days, and it's really nice actually, like the leather and all of that. It's like this is like really good. And I used to wear this when I had to like travel and I needed like just a carry on, but this one I'm using the cell. Okay. We are back on this side to do shoes. I don't know if I've shown you guys my Birkenstocks that I've been wearing literally all summer. I don't know if it's like a special collection or what, but I literally love these. They're so comfortable. They're so durable. Like the bottoms are like thick and like I walked through Italy and Portugal and New York this whole summer with these and I typically wear these kinds of Birkenstocks. But I actually really like the ones with the back strap because they just offer a lot more support. And I love this like buttery, butter yellow color. It's very similar to my Osoy bag that I have. Um, it's just been like nice when I like wear all black and it's like a nice little pop of color. But I also picked up during a sale the 80 um, sandals. I loved 
that Birkenstock style so much, but it is a little bit bulky. So um, for like a more simple type, like this is like a lot slimmer. It's a lot like a little bit more feminine, way less bulky. It's actually quite thin, um, but it has like that same back strap. But I do think it's like different enough in shape that it like was it was it was a worth purchase. Uh, I haven't, I mean, I've tried them on, but I haven't like worn them out yet because I want to get the soles redone or just added. I just need to get soles added because this is just leather and this is a little bit thin. So just to like make sure that it's gonna be able to get through some wear. I'm leaving it in the box for now because I haven't worn them yet. So I'll just leave it here to remind myself to go uh, get it sold at the cobbler. I also bought ballet flats from Maison Margiela uh, 6. Um, this is actually empty because I did wear it once. Um, I got it secondhand from Japan, but I did wear it to the office this past week. They are like this. They have like a little heart toe. Some people call it heart toe, like but heart toe shoe. Front. These, I was going to get them resold, but they already have soles, and so this looks like it's in pretty good shape, but I don't think I'll have to. And then for my birthday this year, Eric got me Tabby Mary Janes. I did get them resold. Resold? Does that make sense? I did get the, them resold. Sure. I got the soles done at the cobbler. They're dirty on the bottom because I've worn them a bunch inside the apartment because I wanted to like break them in. But then right before I was gonna like really wear them, I sprained my ankle. So after that, I just like never worn them. And then I didn't want to get them dirty. They're just like too precious for me, but I just, I have to do it. And Eric's been like waiting for me to do it. And so this might live in the box. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out of the box. I'm gonna stick it in here so that I become more motivated to wear them. Look how cute this alligator is. Oh, my mom bought it for Shupan and he loved it so much. He got rid of both of its arms. I think it's so cute. Steam cleaned the floor and we are now going to wash Henry and Chopin. Um, we haven't washed Henry in a while. We typically try not to wash him more than like once a year and I think we didn't even do it last summer. We tried to do it in the summertime to get all of his like coat out. Um, but we're washing him this time because it's been really like it smells like Fritos everywhere and it's because of Chopin and so we have to wash him and we had to like clean the floors and so Henry who's been rolling around all over the floor also starting to smell like Fritos so I think everyone just needs a reset so the floors are clean we're starting with Henry because then after he'll groom himself and it'll be fine and then we do Chopin Henry, he's okay it's just a little washy poo
Baby, 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 baby,